Today, a major step toward racial equity for the city of Charlotte. Today, the city announced $250 million to be spent on education, housing and jobs. Our government reporter Joe Bruno explains the impact this will have on people in our community. It's being called an unprecedented announcement. It will include funding so everyone in Mecklenburg County has access to the Internet, funding for Johnson C. Smith, as well as money for the entire Beatty's Ford Corridor. So today, we are launching $250 million. The announcement was huge and attended by dozens of the city's top executives, politicians, and community leaders. The response to it, so overwhelming, it made the mayor emotional. You know, this investment is being called the Mayor's Racial Equity Initiative. The initiative was born in response to the killing of George Floyd and the protests that followed in Charlotte and across the nation. It's a $250 million public-private partnership to address inequities and boost opportunity. $80 million for Johnson C. Smith University, $109 million for corridors of opportunity like Beatty's Ford Road, $58 million to tackle the digital divide, and $3 million to catalyze employer commitment, including more diversity in corporate boardrooms. Of the $250 million, $196 million has already been raised. It's been one of those days that um, can change the course of our lives in the city. The funding for Johnson C. Smith University is nearly double their annual budget. It will be used to transform the school into a top-tier, career-focused HBCU, creating scholarships and new programs of study like pre-med, data analytics, and computer science. Each and every one of those employers who get these students will be able to show that they are able to uh, demonstrate not only uh, competence but excellence in their chosen field. Outside of JCSU is Beatty's Ford Road. It's one of the six corridors in Charlotte that will be targeted with investment. I can't e not even begin to tell you what making an investment in technology, making an investment in opportunity, making an investment in entrepreneurship will do to the, to the corridor. Tiffany Capers lives off of Beatty's Ford Road and says it has already changed so much in just the past two years. She hopes this investment will create buzz and energy for the thousands of people who live nearby. It is sort of the past being prologue. I mean, Beatty Ford Road used to be this for the black community. There were these resources here before. The trolley was here before. So now we're just sort of coming back to the future, if you will, and putting back in place what has always been here to make sure that residents on this side of town, again, enjoy the beauty that is Charlotte. The digital equity investment is major as well. 55,000 households in Mecklenburg County are estimated to not have internet access, and this will provide them with that as well as devices. A new center at Queen's University will be formed to oversee the distribution. Back to you.